I'm going to demonstrate you a method of how to prepare multiple solutions of something that is mistake-proof. First of all, prepare labels before you put anything into your containers. Write what is it, initial who made it, and the date when. Make sure you remove all the old labels. Prepare all the chemicals you need for your recipe. I like to line them up in the same order as the recipe calls for. Additionally, I'm using those tubes as a secondary containers to measure the volumes of the stock solutions, and I'm lining up those tubes in the same order. The first chemical we're adding is 80 ml of calcium nitrate. I'm working aseptically here. Once I add a chemical into the first container, I mark it with a post-it, so I remember where I finished in case if I get distracted. And I'll move the post-it as soon as the chemical is added. There is, without the post-it, there is no way to say if the chemical was added or not, because the volume doesn't change dramatically and the solution is transparent. Post-it is just an example of a physical clue. You can come up with your own, for example, move the containers or open the lid. I'm repeating the same steps with the next chemical. Once you used all the chemicals, put the bottle on the side, so it could be used to make a new stock later. I move forward with my recipe. As you noticed, I label the tubes with the volume I need as a secondary reminder. Once you added all the ingredients, it's important to adjust the pH. Hoagland's solution requires a pH range between 5.6 to 6. After all the ingredients are added, it is important to remember that you need to bring the total volume to 16 liters with the eye water. Now close tightly and mix very well. The best way to mix is on the side, if you can. If you cannot tilt the container, do your best to mix it standing up. Take your time. The final step is pH check. Drain some hoglands and use pH meter to double check that pH you got is within the range. Write down the pH and you are done. Don't forget to clean up.